So this is the fifth question from the quantum mechanics chapter. The question is the wave function of a certain particle is psi is equal to a cos square x for the region x is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Find the value of a. So let us start with part a. We have to find the value of a. That means we have to find the normalization constant of the given wave function. So that is psi is equal to a cos square x. So where x is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. So to find the normalization constant, we have to integrate the given wave function from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. So that is the region is given. So that is psi star into psi dx is equal to 0. So we can write minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. So we can write the constant outside. So cos square x plus square dx. So this is equal to 1. Now we got minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 cos to the power 4 x dx. So this is equal to 1. So we have to find the integration of cos to the power 4 x, right? So we can use the trigonometric identity. So we know that cos square x plus sin square x is equal to 1 and cos square x minus sin square x is equal to cos 2x, right? So let us solve for cos square x, okay? So from this we can write sin square x is equal to 1 minus cos square x. So we can substitute cos square x minus here we can replace sin square x by 1 minus cos square x. So 1 minus cos square x. So this is equal to cos 2x. Right. So cos square x minus 1 plus cos square x. This is equal to cos 2x. So 2 times cos square x is equal to so 1 plus cos 2x. So cos square x is equal to 1 plus cos 2x whole divided by 2. So here we can write cos raised to 4 x is equal to cos square x the whole square both are equal. So now we got cos square x here. So that is 1 plus cos 2x divided by 2 the square. So let us simplify it. So we can take 2 outside. So that is 1 by 4 into 1 plus cos 2x the whole square. So that becomes a plus b the whole square. So we get a square plus b square plus 2 times a b. So this is equal to 1 by 4 into 1 plus so let us write this this one. So that is 2 cos 2x plus cos square 2x. Again we got cos square 2x. So we can replace it by same formula. So that is this formula. So we can write. So this is equal to 1 by 4 into 1 plus 2 cos 2x plus so cos square 2x can be written as 1 plus cos 2 into 2x so that becomes 4x right divided by 2. So in the left hand side we have 
cos raised to 4 x. So, this is equal to, so let us multiply 1 by 4. So, 1 by 4 plus 2 divided by 4 into cos 2x plus, now 1 by 4 into 2 plus 1 by 4 into 1 by 2 into cos 4x. So, we can write 1 by 4 plus 2 by 4 cos 2x plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 into cos 4x. So, we can simplify it further. So, cos raised to 4x is equal to, so 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 can be written as 3 by 8. So, that is uh, 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8. So, this is 2 by 8 plus 1 by 8. So, this is equal to 3 by 8. Clear? Now, so plus 2 by 4 is 1 by 2 cos 2x plus 1 by 8 cos 4x. Now, we can replace cos raised to 4x in the in this equation. Okay. Spread the equation again. So, minus pi by 2 2 plus pi by 2 cos raised to 4 x dx is equal to 1. minus pi by 2 2 plus pi by 2. So, cos raised to 4 x is 3 by 8 plus 1 by 2 cos 2 x plus 1 by 8 cos 4 x dx is equal to 1. Now, so, from the property of integral, we can write three by eight into integration from minus pi by two to plus pi by two dx plus one by two into integration from minus pi by two to plus pi by two cos two x dx plus one by eight into minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 cos 4x dx. So, this is equal to 1. Now, we have to solve the integral. So, mod a square into 3 by 8. So, integration of dx is x. So, the limit is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 plus 1 by 2 into integration of cos 2x. So, integration of cos 2x dx. So, this is equal to or let me write the general equation. So, cos ax dx. So, that is sin ax divided by a. So, plus c for a So, this is the general integral okay now so here we have a limit so cos 2x is sin 2x divided by 2 the limit is minus pi by 2 2 plus pi by 2 plus 1 by 8 so integration of cos 4x is sin 4x divided by 4 limit is minus pi by 2 2 plus pi by 2 so, it is equal to 1. Now, mod a square. So, here 3 by 8 into, so upper limit, so that is pi by 2 minus the lower limit, that is minus of pi by 2 
प्लस वन बाय टू इन टू अपर लिमिट सो दट इज साइन टू इंटू एक्सिस पाई बाय टू डिवाइडेड बाय टू सो हियर वी कैन कैंसल टू हियर राइट सो वील गेट साइन पाई सो दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो माइनस साइन ऑफ टू इंटू लोअर लिमिट दैट इज माइनस पाई बाय टू डिवाइडेड बाय टू सो हियर वी कैन कैंसल टू सो इट बिकम्स साइन ऑफ माइनस पाई साइन ऑफ माइनस पाई इज माइनस साइन पाई अगेन साइन पाई इज जीरो प्लस वन बाय एट इंटू साइन फोर इंटू अपर लिमिट इज पाई बाय टू डिवाइडेड बाय फोर सो टू वन जर टू टू जर सो इट बिकम्स साइन टू पाई सो साइन टू पाई इज आल्सो जीरो माइनस साइन ऑफ फोर इंटू लोअर लिमिट दैट इज माइनस फाइव बाय टू डिवाइडेड बाय फोर टू वन जर टू टू जर अगेन साइन ऑफ माइनस टू पाई बिकम्स माइनस साइन टू पाई सो टू पाई इज साइन टू पाई इज जीरो सो वॉट एपन सो दिस इज जीरो सो दिस टर्म इज ऑल्सो जीरो सो दिस टर्म इज ऑल्सो जीरो एंड दिस टर्म इज ऑल्सो जीरो सो द होल इक्वेशन इज इक्वल टू वन नाउ so we left with mod a square into 3 by 8 so pi by 2 minus of minus pi by 2 it becomes pi by 2 plus pi by 2 so this is equal to 1 so mod a square into 3 by 8 into pi by 2 plus pi by 2 it becomes pi so this is equal to 1 So mod a square is equal to eight divided by three pi, or a is equal to square root of eight divided by three pi. So this is the normalization constant a. So in part b, we have to find the probability of the finding the particle. So from from the general statement probability of finding the particle between a to b is given by integration from a to b mod of psi x of t the square dx so this integral gives the probability of finding the particle in the region from a to b so here we have to find the probability of the particle from x is equal to zero to x is equal to pi by four. So here we have to replace a by zero and b by pi by four. So the wave function psi is so we have to use the normalized one. So in the previous part we find the value of a, right? So the value of a is square root of eight by three pi. So cos square x. Now, so integration of zero to pi by four. So we will get square root of eight by three pi into cos square x into eight by three pi into cos square x. dx we have to integrate this so root of 8 by 3 pi into root of 8 by 3 pi so that is 8 by 3 pi so in, into integration from 0 to pi by 4 cos raised to 4 x dx again so this is this integration is similar to the previous one so i will skip that part so 8 by 3 pi so It will be three by eight x 
प्लस वन बाय फोर साइन टू एक्स प्लस वन बाय थर्टी टू साइन फोर एक्स सो दिस टर्म इज द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ कॉस रेस टू फोर एक्स डी एक्स सो वी हैव टू अप्लाई द लिमिट जीरो टू फाइव बाय फोर सो लुक एट हियर सो हियर वी हैव साइन फोर एक्स सो वेन आई अप्लाई साइन फोर इंटू फाइव बाय फोर सो दैट इज द अपर लिमिट सो इट विल बी साइन फाइव सो इट विल बी जीरो एंड साइन ऑफ जीरो सो दैट इज द लोअर लिमिट इट विल बी जीरो सो द लास्ट टर्म विल बी जीरो ओके Now, so eight by three pi, so three by eight into x is upper limit is pi by four, so minus zero plus one by four into sine of two into upper limit is pi by four minus sine of zero is zero, right? So eight by three pi. Into three by eight into pi by four plus one by four into sine of two into pi by four is two ones are two twos are it becomes sine pi by two sine pi by two is one. So, so this is the probability, or we can find the value of it. So it will be nearly equal to the ah point four six. So this is the probability of finding the particle from x is equal to zero to x is equal to pi by four. That's it for now. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment box. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.